What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another Marvel Future Fight video. Alright, so we're going to be uh, trying out Sharon a little bit more here with her new Dark Star armor. So we're going to be taking her in against Cole Obsidian for the World Boss Ultimate. Uh, so before we get into that gameplay, I'm just going to show you my build on Sharon here so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Uh, Alright, so for her Uru, we do have some Uru on her, but it's definitely lacking in terms of the uh, quality of the Uru because most of them are 4 star. We do have some 5 star in there, so I could definitely improve uh, the Uru on her. Uh, for her skills, we do have all of them leveled up to 6. Uh, for Ice Weight set, we do have Power the Angry Hulk, and it is fully awakened. Uh, I got this set fully awakened way back when Sharon Rogers first came out. Um, so yeah, have that there. And then for the Ophelisk, we do have a crit damage, all defense, and a 200% proc. And again, that's because she's mainly just an offensive powerhouse, deals a lot of damage. So I wanted to put a damage proc on her. And we do have a 200% one here. So I threw it on her just because she does have uh, super armor. So definitely can take advantage of one of these Ophelisks that does not have immune to guard break on it. Uh, the crit damage is nice. And all defense is actually... Uh, not too bad for her as well to help out her survi uh, survivability a little bit, but, you know, another offensive stat right there, or even max HP would have been uh, preferred over the all defense, but still a really nice obelisk. And then for her uh, uniform, it is still only at normal, so I haven't ranked up the uniform at all. So again, that's something else that we can uh, work on for Sharon here. And then for her details... Uh, we do see we have ignore defense and skill cooldown capped off uh, the attack speed a little bit low 122% uh, the crit rates 41% a little bit low as well and the crit damage is looking pretty nice at uh, 193% so that uh, the crit damage is good just need to work on the other stats a little bit so yeah now that we've kind of taken a look at what my Sharon Rogers looks like let's go ahead and jump into the uh, gameplay against Cole Obsidian all right, so here we are at uh, Cole Obsidian stage 29. We're using Wasp uh, for both the leadership and also for her tier 2 passive to kind of deal with that annoying, uh, what is it called, that tornado blade twister or whatever it is uh, that snares and stuns you and bleeds you. And uh, also to deal with the bleed on Black Dwarf here just to help Sharon uh, stay alive a little bit easier. And then of course we have uh, Shuri for her tier 2 passive and then also for the extra survivability as well with the reduce, uh, reduced damage received. So hopping in here right away and there's two kind of skill rotations that I use with uh, Sharon Rogers throughout this uh, video here and that is always starting with the three cancel the three and then use the fifth skill and then usually I will let the fifth skill get the damage proc and then just um, wait for a second to accumulate more damage uh, so I let you know I try to get hit a few times while the fifth skill is going off and then I hop into the fourth skill after a few seconds have gone by to let that damage build up from the third skill and then I still get a significant amount of damage from the fourth skill, even without the damage proc. But if I happen to notice that the fifth skill gets off and the damage proc does not trigger for some reason, then I will use the fourth skill right away because the fourth skill still does uh, significantly more damage than the fifth skill. But the fifth skill still does enough damage that it is a good candidate for your uh, damage proc. So you don't have to feel like you're... Uh, trying, you know, too much to get it on the fourth skill that the fifth skill should still suffice for a lot of fights But of course if you want max damage the fourth skill is still going to be the skill that you want to get the damage proc on um, So when I do that usually I will cancel the third skill go into the fifth skill and if I get the kind of uh, Effects of the fifth skill so right there as soon as that kind of energy beam um is shown up on the screen then I will hop into the fourth skill if the damage proc has not gone off but like I said if the damage proc has gone off uh, then usually I wait a little bit longer try to take a few more hits to get that max amount of damage uh, there from the accumulation and then pop the fourth skill and then if you do it that way you can actually just use uh, the first skill and then jump into the second skill for the instant iframe so just use one and then cancel right away right away into two and then the third skill is usually off of cooldown by then and I can just kind of keep the rotation going so that might be a little bit safer in terms of uh, survivability doing three cancel then use the fifth skill damage proc wait for a little bit then use the fourth skill for the iframe and then do the first skill cancel into the second skill uh, cancel the second skill back into the third skill 
Uh, but anyway, as you can see here, uh, Sharon is doing really, really nice damage with this uniform because I was definitely not able to uh, clear this stage before with Sharon and her um, previous uniform, the Light Armor, what was it called? I've already forgotten the name of it. Uh, I just know that this one was Dark Star and the other one had something with light in it, I believe, so light and dark kind of thing. Uh, but either way, I was not able to clear the stage with uh, her old uniform. The damage just wasn't there, so I definitely see a big damage boost uh, from this uniform, or maybe it's just the damage is more consistent uh, with this uniform here because you have, you know, two different options for your damage proc. Uh, but either way, it's a nice uh, upgrade, and Sharon is still a monster in terms of damage with this uniform here, so definitely moving her way back up the uh, kind of tower for most uh, damaging characters. And since she has her Tier 3 now unlocked, um, once she gets to Tier 3, I'm curious to see what kind of damage that Tier 3 skill is going to do with the damage proc, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, test that out soon, because I have been getting relatively lucky on the potential for Sharon Rogers here so I might be able to get her to tier 3 pretty soon actually uh, because I should be unlocking her potential uh, today as the uh, time of me doing this voiceover for the recording but uh, I just need to have of course the materials to get her to tier 3 and since my gold is really low I'm not sure if I'll have enough to get all of her gears to 25 but I do plan on getting her to tier 3 so that should be sometime in the future but anyway, as you can see here, Sharon is doing just fine against Cole. Uh, stage 20, and stage 29 here, I should also mention, a lot of my characters really, really struggle to uh, beat this stage because Black Dwarf has very high uh, defense for both physical and energy. So the fact that she can clear this shows that her damage is really high because I struggle with this with a lot of other characters. Um, yeah, so she's definitely among my top damage dealers for my personal collection of characters. And as you can see there, the potential is getting pretty close. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show off Sharon with her uh, new uniform here, the Dark Star Armor. Again, very high damage on this uniform here. The only thing that um, might be a little bit low is the survivability, but she's always kind of been a glass cannon. But either way, this uniform basically just gives her a damage boost. Doesn't help too much in terms of the survivability. Um, at least that's what I've noticed so far. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.